Do you wanna- Hoi there! Do yees wants to learn to animate? This class will teach you how to lip sync by hand using traditional 2D animation techniques. For our class project, we will be animating a pirate talking. I encourage you to draw your own pirate for our class project. This class is for beginners and anyone who wants to learn to lip sync. In today's class, we are going to learn to lip sync for animation. We will need some files to get started. First, we will need a drawing of a pirate. You can use any program you like to draw your pirate. We will also need an audio file to lip sync to. Since we are animating a pirate, it will be good to have a pirate's voice. You can record your own voice. So let's go ahead and go into Rough Animator. We're gonna create a new project. I'm gonna make it 720p, 24 frames. You can adjust that if you want. Let's go ahead and import our image of the pirate. So let's grab him. And you can move him or scale him, but I'm just gonna click because uh, click in the gray because he's already uh, pretty centered. And let's call this pirate. Okay, now let's go ahead and import our audio. And grab that. Now, we don't see the audio yet, and that's because we need to add some frames. And now as we add the frames, there you're seeing the audio file. So... Go ahead, and I know that this audio file is about 96 frames long. So I'm just going to type that in and hit enter. And I'm going to pull my horizontal zoom so I can see the whole project. So you can see here, there's the whole audio. Here's one second, here's two seconds, three seconds, and four seconds. I'm going to add one more frame here, and then you can see the four. So this is basically a four second animation. And at this point, we can play it and just uh, see what it sounds like. Ahoy there! The Yeez wants to learn to animate? So what we want to do is we want to create a new layer, add empty layer, and I'm going to call this Mouths. And this is where I'm going to draw the mouths for the animation. And... You'll see we've got one frame here and it's empty. And that's what we want for now. And actually, so what I want to do is I want to extend this a few frames right until we get to the point where the audio starts. So some people, they think that the lip sync needs to be a frame before or after. And I like to start the timing of the mouth movements exactly on the waveform. So it's a good practice to get into. So let's zoom in here as far as I can. And basically, I just want to start drawing some easy mouths uh, to make our guy, our pirate, talk. And one cool thing about having a mustache is we really aren't going to be drawing much more than a little half a circle here at the bottom. Because the mustache is going to cover up the mouth, so we don't need to do all of the shapes of the mouth. We're just going to basically use a... a little half circle below here. So at this point, I want to create a new drawing. So we're going to do add drawing, add after. Wait. And that gets us our new drawing. Now I don't necessarily want it that long. So I'm going to bring it down and I'm just going to draw with the pen tool here. And I've got black selected. I'm just going to draw a little circle like that. And if you want, you can add a little lip or something. But I mean, we're doing real basic drawings here. So don't get scared that we're doing you know something very labor intensive and at this point we can see there's another spike here so i want to change the mouth movement again so let's add drawing and add after it's giving us a new drawing that's holding for two frames two frames here and i'm just going to draw a little bit different mouth shape than we just did and that one i'm going to hold a little bit longer here so let's stretch that out and then at this point there's a little bit of a difference here and so i might want to add a drawing here and what i might do what i might do for this is just have it be no mouth 
And so let's bring that back. And then here, I'm going to start another mouth. So add drawing, add yeah. after. And here, let's go ahead and draw another mouth. And we'll go ahead and have that hold a little bit longer. And what I might do is have that hold six frames here, hold for that whole thing. And then we're going to do one more drawing here and have it be kind of just a barely there mouth and almost like he's closing his mouth. And I'm going to bring that back right around there. And then we're going to go back to empty mouth. So we need to just add a blank drawing here, which is going to give us the ability to pull our timeline. So we need these blank white drawings. They're, they're actually nothing in the drawing, but we need them to hold the spacing within Rough Animator. So I'm going to stretch this out to about here. So I can either do it like that, or I can just add frames here. And at this point, I want to add a new drawing. So let's add drawing, add hey, these words. And I definitely don't want it this long, so we can pull it back. The yeast one, the yeast one, and maybe right about there. Maybe do one less. Do about three frames here, and let's do another drawing of a mouth. Okay, and let's do add e another one. And at this point, maybe I want a little bit longer. And that's gonna hold. Let's hold that till right about here. So the more you animate lip syncing, the easier it gets. And you really want to pay attention to the waveforms. And you can scrub too and kind of see. I don't want to talk over the scrubbing, but when you scrub, you can kind of hear where the words change. And so let me try that real quick. So you can see that I can't hear anything beyond here because I'm selected on the mouse layer. If I want to hear the whole thing, I can select on the pirate layer. Boy there. The yeez wants to learn. And I can scrub it. So wants is right here. But that's how you can kind of scrub and see where the words start and stop. And you kind of want your mouth to match up with a changing of a word. So as wants starts right here, we're going to want Please. to do a different mouth break. So let's go ahead and add a drum one. there. And I'm going to make it one more. Okay, so he's saying wants. So I might do something like that. It's more of an O, but... The point is, we just want to draw some drawings here so that the mouth is moving. And it's not going to be a perfect lip sync, but I just want to get you to have a beginning into lip sync and how you do it by hand within Rough Animator. And, and this technique will work in a lot of other 2D traditional animation packages. It's the same technique. What? So I want, I actually want some blank drawings here or some mouth closed. So we're going to add Alert. a couple of blanks right there. At least two. I don't like one frame. It's too fast, but two frames is usually holds long enough. And then let's start a new Alert. mouth. And right there. So let's listen to what he says. Let's scrub it. Ahoy there. Okay, so they're saying to learn. So on this drawing... We probably should do like a two. And we'll just do like that. And maybe hold that for another frame. Add another frame. And here he's going to say learn. So let's hold that for a little bit longer. And we'll just do something like that. Okay. And then I want to, let's do two blank drawings in here. Attack. Basically the mouth closed. And then we'll start a new mouth here. And let's just do... Well, let's scrub it and see what he's saying here. So that's him saying animate. So... Let's do... And let's do another frame here. Animate. So let's... I might do a little wider 
something like that and so animate so i might hold that one more frame and then we'll start the mate animate and make do another drawing let's hold that until the end here and so this will be our last drawing here uh and i might even just kind of move his mouth off to the right a little bit and then at the end we still need to hold a blank drawing so let's add our blank drawing there and let's just stretch it out to the end okay and that should do it so let's let's zoom out and let's try and see what what we've got zoom out a little more all right so let's bring our playhead to the beginning and hit play let me turn the volume up a little ahoy there do yees wants to learn to animate ahoy there so that looked pretty good to me uh i'm pretty happy with that um i might want to go in and adjust a little bit and you know it's easy enough to take a frame out here or there but when you take a frame out here it shifts everything else here so we need to come here and add a frame there so just make sure that if you're adjusting here you remember that you have to come back and sync get these back synced up on this end so i just took out a frame like it shouldn't really make too much of a difference but let's take it take another look at that ahoy there the yees wants to learn to animate ahoy there so one frame here or there doesn't really screw us up too much but it can um make a difference in your timing so just pay attention by sometimes shifting one frame here or there can get your timing a little bit better and it looks a little bit better so the next thing i want to do let's do one more thing here i want to do a quick reminder of how to do a cycle so let's add a new layer let's add an empty layer I'm just going to call this animated background and I'm going to move that layer to underneath pirate. So we're going to hit that button and now he's here and we're going to hit that again. And now he's here and we just have one frame. So what I want to do is bump it up to two frames and let's do a quick little drawing. Uh, just make a line here, something like that all the way across. And then I'm going to add a drawing. Let's turn on our onion skin and let's just try and trace that as best we can. And let's do one more time, add after and trace it again. I don't like that one. Let's undo that. One more time here. Okay, so we've got three drawings and what I just basically want is him have a little bit of background and that background is going to give us a little animation. And this is more just so that we can practice making a cycle. So what I want to do now is I'm going to add another drawing after those three. And from here, we've got our blank drawing. We're going to hit make cycle. And you can see it's selecting automatically the last three drawings. So if we go over here to our tool options, it's already picked the last three drawings. If I don't want that first drawing, so you can see I've taken out one of the cycles here, but we don't want that. We want all three and it's selecting all three. And then this is the beginning of our new cycle, which is only two frames, which is here. So if we add to this there, now it's six frames, we've got all three drawings and it's two frames each drawing and it's cycling. So we should be able to scrub that and kind of see, turn the onions good off. So the background is just a, a wavy line here. And what I wanna do is just extend this all the way to the end of the project. And the easiest way to do that is Ahoy. we select it on our cycle and we just start adding. And I know that uh, we need this, let's drop it at about 90 frames. Gets us almost to the end there. And let's do one more. Okay, that gets us to the end. So. As you can see, we've got a, our four second animation. Let's go ahead and play it and you'll see the background. Uh, what we've just done with that cycle. Ahoy there. The yees wants to learn to animate. 
So what you may want to do is fill that with blue or something like, you know, he could be on an ocean or just wanted to give a little bit of a cycle uh, revision, which I went into in a previous class. So now we need to save our project. So file, save, let's call this pirate talk. And our dot RA is for rough animator. We're going to save it to the desktop. So we've saved our work. And now we finally just need to export. So file. We're going to export a QuickTime video. And we're just going to save it to the desktop. And it should save it with the audio. So let's hide rough animator and go see. Here's what we just exported here. Pirate talk movie. Let's go ahead and open that in QuickTime and give it a play. Ahoy there. Do you wants to learn to animate? So I'm pretty happy with that. That's what we wanted. Hopefully your project came out similarly. Now I want to take a look at a case study. Let's take as an example this short clip from my Traveling Gringo series. And let's just watch it real quick and kind of pay attention to the lip sync. Don't you have your sea legs yet? Hardly. How come your stomach is always fine? I always keep a pocket full of Dramamine. So that's about a nine second clip and there was a decent amount of talking going on and that was all lip synced fairly accurately. The trick is I did all of Eric's animation with only three mouth drawings. We've got the closed mouth, normal drawing. Then we've got one, two, three more mouths and that's it. I animated basically all of his talking in that clip with three mouth movements. So it doesn't have to be very complicated. And for the other example of Pat in the animation, uh, there's the closed mouth. And then we've got one, two, three, four. So just basically four mouths plus the closed mouth is all I use to animate him talking. But let's do a quick Google search for animation lip sync chart and you'll see a bunch of images come up for different ways that people map out their mouth shapes and you can see here's an example with 12 different mouth shapes here's an example with eight or nine different mouth shapes and so you can kind of get an idea of how other people do their lip syncing and their mouth shapes just by doing a quick google search and there's a lot of information here but basically, what I want to show you is you don't need a lot of mouth shapes to animate lip syncing if you're just learning and want to get started. Personally, I only use eight mouth shapes. Any more than that, I don't like the look of it. So let's take another quick look at the clip. And the way I animate this is I do the mouths on another layer on top of the background drawing. So the point of this is try not to be intimidated by lip syncing because it doesn't have to be super complicated. You can achieve your goal of lip syncing with just a few drawings. And the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. So feel free to do this class project more than once as it'll help you practice your lip syncing. Re-record different pirate phrases and try animating those again. And the more you do this, the easier it'll get and the faster you'll get. So start practicing your lip syncing and I look forward to seeing your projects in the project section. Congratulations on completing this class. But we're not done quite yet. Let's recap what we've just learned. Today, we learned how to set up a new project in Rough Animator. We also learned how to import an audio file, lip sync, animate a cycle, save and export our work, and we reviewed a case study illustrated by my animation traveling gringos. Remember, Eight mouth shapes are enough to lip sync anything. You can use less if you need to. And practice, practice, practice. And thank you for taking my class today. I hope you are able to learn something valuable. This has been Patrick Davidson, the expat animator. See you next time.